What is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel latest wave OS 4.3 which is officially available for a lot of devices it's based on android version 11 as expectedly and with come it comes with the latest april security patch i've installed it on my poco x3 and it's officially available for other devices also for example i've installed it on my redmi note 8 also it's just working perfectly fine how you can use this build on your device it's easy to install install this on your device it almost comes with alongside with the google apps so you don't need to install google apps separately for that in this build there are some new changes and some interesting changes are present there this is why i'm just i just wanted to show you first of all as you can see it has this kind of the quick settings panel which is same like oxygen os kind of same like oxygen os and you can customize the asin color hotspot wi-fi both are working at the same time as you just saw so this is actually quite good here everything seems to be good and working here i didn't got any kind of single bug for now but maybe after you use it for three four days five days you might get but i didn't thought you will get any kind of bug i try to use all the gcams gcam go is pre-installed in my device poco x3 but other devices i don't know for example if you use redmi note 8 you might get the miui camera pre-installed but the default launcher is not the pixel launcher you get the wave os launcher maybe if i'm not wrong and this is the launcher you get here with the icon pack support everything else is same like the other ones and it comes with huge interesting oxygen os icons sorry oxygen os status bar icons basically but comes with the wave os wallpapers these wallpapers were not present in the previous update but in this latest update these wallpapers are present so if you like any kind of wallpaper from here you can apply any wallpaper it's just up to you wave os wallpapers are quite good whichever wallpaper you want to apply click here and click on set home or lock screen or both it's just up to you i also have applied the custom icon pack here as you just saw so don't think about these icons are not pre-installed you can install these icons by installing an icon pack and like that if you see this kind of thing which is actually safety net status it's just passing the device is certified by default and you can pass the safety net status by just hiding the magic from settings and if you don't know how to do that it's actually quite easy i have a dedicated video on this one too so make sure to check out that that how you can pass the safety status on your device device is certified in the play store no issues there the settings has a little bit of changes if you compare it with the previous build or previous update basically as you can see the display has some extra options minimum and maximum refresh rate if you're a poco x3 user like the display cutout we have other customization options where you can customize the blur options you can customize some status bar icons for example the icon manager battery icon style and the double tap to sleep option is available here for you too if you want to simply lock your device lock turn lock your or turn on lock on your device by just tapping double tapping on your status bar the style options of course includes the custom styles you're going to customize ice and color etc sound and vibration where we have every kind of thing option present there always vibrate and almost it also includes the in-call vibration options which were not available in the previous update but in this update these options are present here security as i previously mentioned it comes with the latest app locker which is inspired from the aospa and yes this app locker is now available on most of the custom rooms including this wave os this includes this app locker which you can simply enable if you want to turn on app lock for your apps which you have installed on your device if you need that you can use that and honestly i don't think so it's that good if you get app lock in the default launcher that feels actually good here and talking about the battery backup related things the battery backup is okay okay i am using 90 hertz refresh rate right on my device and with the 90 hertz refresh rate this battery backup is honestly not bad if you use a 120 hertz you might get less battery backup if you use a 60 hertz you might get the better battery backup and these are the things you already know about i like that almost everything seems to be same here almost everything i have already shown you and customizations same here you can customize some fonts clock related things some extra clock options are present there too so over and all this update is actually quite good you should install this build on your device if you're looking for a custom stable custom room based on android 11 for your device this is all from today's video i hope you like this link for this is in the description i hope you like this installation is actually quite easy thanks for watching and goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air